Keeping out of the way first. Uh, if you guys are enjoying my video and you're thinking about coming to prom, it would help me out a ton if you would uh, give your recruiter my driver code M O J E S G. Uh, that kind of helps them keep track of uh, who's inviting folks and who's coming and and all that good stuff. We do get a uh, a little bit of pay for that, uh, so I'll thank you up front. You know, I think you have to stick around six months before that kicks in, but. If you, uh, if you need a recruiter, Casey Barrera was my recruiter. Fantastic job, uh, she helped me out. You know, a day never went by that I sent her an email or a phone call that she didn't return or answer right away. Um, I hear, you know, sometimes uh, people have difficulties with recruiters not calling them back, but you gotta remember those people are taking a ton of phone calls, a ton of emails. So, uh, but yeah, give Stacy a call if you hadn't, and uh, make sure to give them my driver code. See you guys, enjoy the video. Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, I promise this video won't be near as long as the last one. Uh, I had some people ask about cat scales and sliding tandems. So I was gonna, uh, I'll just show you how I, I slide and set tandems. And then uh, over my shoulder here at this truck stop, we got a, a cat scale, which is uh, the, only, the only certified scales that I, that I use and go by uh, if I need to use one. So uh, let's uh, get started. Uh, sliding tandems, obviously I'm at a truck stop. This is pretty much saying like you're gonna be at the uh, shipper and you need to set your tandems and make sure you're not over uh, weight on your drives or on your uh, trailer, trailer tires. So first things first, you gotta find a level, uh, level spot uh, to do this. Um, you have to release uh, the tractor brakes and the trailer brakes. Uh, to be able to, to be able to set them properly. So you got to find a level spot where your truck won't roll. Uh, always have a wheel chalk. If you don't have a actual wheel chalk, just use a rock, use a four by four post, whatever you got. Um, so always set your, uh, set your wheel chalk. You don't want your truck rolling anywhere because you got to get out while the brakes are released. So uh, first thing, find a level spot. Second thing, chalk your wheels. Let's jump inside. All right, so now we're in the truck. Um, you've got your level ground. Uh, you got plenty of room around you to move, but you got your level ground and you got your wheels chalked. Next thing you can do is release your tractor brakes and release your trailer brakes and ease off the brake pedal, make sure you're not rolling anywhere. Uh, so we'll put on the brake, release, release. foot off the pedal and remember I got my wheel chalk out there uh, so I know this truck's not going anywhere even though I tested it out and it's still flat without the wheel chalk don't want to risk it so now that you got these released uh, prime puts uh, what's called right way gauges in all their trucks and trailers it's right here on the this dash. gauge right here um, it's beside the, uh, the the tractor brake and the trailer brake is this gauge here uh, the key that you're looking for here is below 34,000 pounds that's the uh, max this is weighing the uh, weight on your drive tires drive axles right behind you so we're at uh, 31 
So we're gonna keep that in mind, 31. Brakes, both brakes are released, foot's off the pedal. 31 on the drives. So now we're out of the truck. I uh, tried to keep the truck off as long as I could for the noise. Um, but you gotta have the truck running to supply air to the right way gauge on the back of the trailer. So we'll walk back there and I'll show you that. Remember, if you still got your wheel chalk down and you still got both the tractor brake and the trailer brake released. This is the right way gauge. Here's your gauge, that's what it looks like. This knob here, you're gonna pull it. And just like the front, uh, the front gauge in the cab, this way in the dr uh, drive tires, this one needs to be below 40, 34,000 also. 34,000, 34,012. And this one, we got 31 in the truck and we're a little over 34 here. So that means that the trailer is heavier. Trailer axles are holding more than the truck axles are. So the way to fix that is to slide the tandems closer to the back, which will shift more weight towards the uh, fifth wheel and over the drive tires. So this is gonna take less, take more weight off of the trailer onto the truck. So we got 31, 34 here. You wanna meet in the middle, say 33, 32. Um, so we're gonna slide. The truck is gonna move forward, but the rear tandems are gonna stay in place. So while the truck moves forward, the tires are gonna stay in place moving the, the distribution of weight. So I'll show you how to do that uh, right now. So the way you're gonna measure this is underneath the trailer, uh, along the bottom of the trailer, there's a series of holes. And each one of these holes kind of helps you figure out how far you're moving, how much weight you need to move. Um, I'll let you see back here. See the holes there? Starts at one, two, three. You count the third one even though it's blocked off. Right now we're sitting in the fourth hole. So we need to go back uh, probably three. So we'd be in the one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to go try to get to the seventh hole. Uh, being by yourself is a little more difficult because you don't have anybody back here watching and telling you when to stop. So you just kind of got to feel this about, uh, about a foot, a uh, foot and a half that you need to move forward with the uh, tandems on the trailer stuck in place. So the way to do that is, remember we're at 34 on the trailer and 31 in the truck. So we need uh, 1,000 pounds, 1,200 pounds move. So close that, shut the valve back off. Come back up here to the front of the truck. Like I said, this is why it's a little more difficult with one person. Ugh. Don't forget to move your wheel chalk. You ain't going nowhere. Come up here inside the truck. and set your trailer brake. What that's gonna do is that's gonna release the pins that are holding that set of tandems together and I'll show you that right now. All right, so remember earlier, we located the holes. Well, there's pins, there's two pins on each side of the trailer that hold the frame in place. See this knob here, silver knob, I don't know, that light's kinda weird. That round circular knob about the size of a quarter, you pull that towards you and that releases the pins. The back one's released. As you can see, this one here didn't go in. So when we get inside, I'll show you how to fix that. All right, back inside the truck. Uh, you heard those loud pops. Those are those pins being pulled in when we pulled that, that silver, uh, silver knob, quarter size knob. Those pins are being retracted into the frame, but you saw the one up front didn't go in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rock the truck back and forth to get some pressure off of it and I'll roll the window down and let you hear it when it happens. Put the truck in reverse. Hold it. And let off the brake. All right, nothing that way. Put the truck back in neutral. Put it in drive. I think it released that time. All right, so now that it released, 
Remember, we need to have more weight on the truck, less weight on the trailer. So shifting that, uh, I guess, balance point, uh, the, the trailer tires being the balance point, the farther back the tires go, the lighter the trailer load. The farther forward the tires go, the heavier the trailer load. So we got our, our window down, we heard it pop. So now we're gonna put it in drive. Keep an eye out the mirror. Check your surroundings always, even though this uh, truck stop's pretty empty. And we're gonna let off. Remember, we need to go about that, that foot, foot and a half. We're gonna be looking in our side mirror, urge forward, and put it in neutral. We'll see where that is. So the way you check it, you set, release the trailer brake, I'm sorry. Set it, drive, and there it is, it's locked in place. I'm not sure what hole that's in, but we're about to go find out. So remember, again, we're gonna test, release, put off the brake pedal, So you got 31,000 on the truck, and now we're gonna go see how far it moved. Remember we were in the fourth hole, we're trying to get the seventh hole, something like that to try to move some weight. Uh, both brakes are released. We're gonna hop out, put our wheel chalk down, and we're gonna try that uh, trailer gauge again, see what it's So put that wheel chalk back down, come back to our right way. Remember, truck is released, trailer is released, wheel chalk's down, flat area. Uh, we're gonna look and see how far it moves. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I made it to the sixth hole. I only moved it two. I was going for three, but we'll see what this uh, what the sixth hole's got. So come back to the right way, pull it, and it's like we're at 33, and I think the truck was just a little over 31. So I'm gonna call that a win. Um, that's basically the way you set it. I'm gonna leave it on the sixth hole. There's really no need to pull it forward one more. Both both uh, weights are legal. Um, and that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like to go through a cat scale. I'm gonna show you on my phone because I use the app. I think it's a lot easier than having to talk to the people behind the desk, go inside, get the receipt. Uh, some places don't take the receipt. Some shippers, if you say that they're too heavy, uh, you actually have to have a piece of paper. But. Uh, the app works great. They email you the, the digital copy. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, 31, five and uh, 33. So we're good to go on this, uh, on this weight. That's how you move tandems. Now let's go do a scale. All right, so the next thing is we're gonna use the cat scale. So I'm actually gonna let this guy get out of the way first. parked at kind of a uh, kind of a weird angle. I'm, I'm pointing out and the cat scale is angled for trucks coming in, but I feel like we can swing wide and still make it. Alrighty. Make sure I don't run over my wheel chalk back there. And you always wanna make sure you go in on the side that says enter. Um, they, uh, these plates are set up in a, in a way that they weigh the axles. So you wanna make sure that you're, uh, you're not in there backwards. Plus you can't uh, reach the control panel when you get up here to the, uh, to the scale. And remember, take it easy on the brakes. Don't, uh, don't slam on brakes on these things because they're sitting on springs and uh, you, can, you can mess them up. So, and that's, that's a good rule of thumb for all, uh, all scales. Just like at weigh stations and stuff, you know, you gotta stop before the truck gets off. 
take it easy on them. We'll, we'll get where we're going. Okay, uh, so I use the app, like I said, for this. Um, cat scale. So it brings up your uh, GPS location and we're gonna have the trucks in neutral. Uh, these cat scales are flat, just like uh, when we set the tandems, we were on flat ground. Uh, so you get an accurate read and these scales are also level so you get a even more accurate reading uh, there's no weight pushing forward or backwards both the uh, tractor and trailer brakes are released we're in neutral we can leave the truck running it's fine normally you'd have to hit that call button give them your uh, truck number trailer number trip number uh, all that kind of stuff and those speakers are not the best to hear out of. So uh, I, I like using the app, it's quick, it's easy. Um, it's the same price, doesn't cost any more. The app, you, ha you don't have to pay for it, you just gotta pay for each time you weigh. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see we're at number 988. We look here on the app, it says cat scale 988. Yep, we're at Davis Travel Center, that's the right one. We're gonna accept. Remember, truck's in neutral, both brakes are released. Let's see, we're gonna change the tractor number, 701234. Trailer number, 220186, 220186, oh. 220186, done. Accept, then it's gonna ask if you accept the fee. I can roll my window up now, it's kinda loud, sorry guys. Uh, fee 1250 except yes I've got my uh, credit card on there and I've also got my uh, com data card on there uh, as forms of payment <sighs> let's see please wait processing payment cool so steer axles uh, 11,000 and I'll put the screenshot up on the video 11,260 drive is, which is what's behind us there uh, remember this one said 31 I said 31 a uh, little we're at 31.5 which is good and the trailer axle I was trying to get to 33 and we're at 32 720 for a gross vehicle weight uh, 75,480 uh, pounds for all three points of contact with the road which is what a uh, DOT is looking for so uh, yeah 11,260, 31,5, 32,7,20. Those are uh, those are all really good, uh, really good numbers. Pretty well balanced too. So that's how that works at the cat scale. Um, when you hit done, you close out the app, and then you go to your email, and then way my truck is downloading. And there it is, there's your PDF form. Like I said, a lot of shippers don't accept uh, this digital form, so you have to go inside, but they can just print you one inside. You just tell them your truck number and they print it off for you. You've already paid for it through the app, so you just gotta get the actual physical paper one. But anyway, that's how it goes. All right guys, so that's basically it. Uh, hopefully this was a short enough video. I know the last one was pretty long, uh, answering a ton of questions, but I really appreciate the questions, guys. Um, if you have any more, please let me know. Um, I got some, uh, I got a really big trip coming up. I'm, uh, you know, I'm heading to New Jersey, uh, deliver Thursday morning and, uh, got a, got a special trip, uh, in plan, uh, for, uh, Thursday afternoon. So, uh, stay tuned and you'll see where I'm going, but hopefully it'll be a good trip. Um, anyway. That's it. I just want to show you how to slide tandems and uh, use a cat scale. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, great. I'm, uh, I'm so happy. Thank you uh, for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.